Hey guys, back again with the Tecundra swap. Heading out to the garage right now to try to make this engine fit in here. It needs to go about six inches further down and six inches back. The only way to make that happen is to cut this mounting bracket off down here that's in the way. If I'm gonna keep these mount brackets, I'm gonna have to cut them anyway and slide them out three quarters of an inch on each side or so. So I figure I might as well at least cut this one off right now so I can drop this thing down into place and see if it's gonna fit right against the firewall. The trickiest part about putting this engine in and pulling it back out was just the header flanges sticking out that would catch on the fuel lines and brake lines and the AC and the heater inlets. Now that the engine's up out of the way, I can show you guys, this is what we're hitting when I drop that oil pan down in. And when I call it an offset oil pan, I mean it sits over towards this side, so it's offset to miss the front diff. So it's gonna sit like right here when it's where it needs to be. But right now, just to drop it down and it's hitting right here and I can't get the slide back to miss this. So this is gonna need cut off of here. When we took measurements a couple episodes ago, I figured that if I'm gonna use these brackets, they're gonna need to slid out three quarters of an inch on each side anyway. I'm not really gonna hesitate too much. I think I'm just gonna chop this off of here, knowing that it's gonna need chopped off no matter what. And this side, I was leaning towards using the Tundra mounts. I thought that would be the best thing. I still think it would be best. However, I don't think they're gonna fit. Well, it depends on where this thing's gonna sit because in the Tundra, these mounts were right in line with the shock towers like this. But in the Tacoma, as you can see, the brackets are slid back in the Tacoma more from the shock towers. And that's where I'd like to keep my mounts. So if I am able to slide the engine back that far, these mounts aren't gonna work because this is gonna hit the steering shaft. One other issue that I think I might have is this plate right here. That ties the frame down into the back of the lower control arm and then of course runs across. Mine was cut open here. This truck had a drop bracket lift when I bought it and I got rid of it. So I welded a uh, piece back in there. But I do think this might be in the way of that oil pan because it is a lot bigger than the V6 oil pan. Plus the oil drain kind of shoots out that direction on the Tundra engine. And on the Tacoma engine, I had an access hole here in my skid plate. That's where the oil drain was for the four liter. Uh, but this one's gonna point that way. So I might have to rig something or maybe I'll get lucky it'll fit right there so I can just go up through this hole to drain the oil. We'll see. Something else I just noticed in here. This is kind of weird. I did not expect this, but I was just looking to see how much I'd have to trim off of these mounts and measuring into the frame. This side measures like almost an inch to here. And this side measures like inch and a half. So it's kind of weird. I double checked to these mounting points here. And this side's like, let's see, straight out from the frame three and three quarters maybe and this side is three inches so this mounts actually slid over three quarters of an inch compared to this so you know so do the math subtract the difference there the engine actually bolts in here off centered all right guys just for comparison i came out here to the tundra and checked these are perfectly centered between the frame rails i'm thinking that's how we're going to want it in the tacoma also what i'll probably do is offset those brackets when i trim them I'll trim a little more off the driver's side so it slides over more because it's offset like an inch. I'm getting a little more technical with the measurements now. I really took a close look. This one, the mounting hole measures three and a quarter inches from the frame. And on this side, it's four inches from the frame. That means I'm gonna have to move this one out an inch and a quarter and this one out a half inch to make the V8 sit in there centered. So I got a pretty good idea of what's gonna need trimmed off to get it to sit in there straight. At any rate, both of these are gonna need cut off, but I at least need to cut this side off just to test fit it a little bit. I guess I should also mention the angle is a little different on these Tacoma mounts than it is on the Tundra mounts. I'm not gonna worry about that because I'm gonna bolt these to the engine, drop it in while they're bolted to these brackets and then tack the brackets in, then pull the whole engine out and weld the brackets. So I'm not even worried about that little bit of angle that they're off uh, because if I just cut these completely off, weld them back in, everything will be all right. So I think I'm gonna finally break down and cut that mount off now. I just got a plasma cutter too, but I don't have a heavy enough electric line running out here to my garage yet. So I'm just gonna have to cut it with this. Cutting through it right here. It sucks to cut because I'm cutting through a really thick layer there. I don't know how to explain it. Anyway, I'm gonna start here and just cut right behind this thick piece straight through here. That's gonna be the least amount of cutting that I'll have to do. Once that's off of there, I'll be able to clean that all up with the plasma cutter then or a grinder or whatever and get that all smooth. Then when this drops back in, I should be able to weld this straight to the frame.
Well, I'm dedicated now. There's no turning back. Not a terrible cut. Uh, that might be a little more than the half inch that I wanted, but that's all right. I'll get rid of the rest of that, and then when I slide it back in there, it should be ready to tack up right against that frame, I hope. Well, we got some space freed up now, so let's try to drop this thing in again. I'm gonna clean some stuff off of this thing, like these heat shields. I don't think I really even need them on there. Uh, there's one on each side. Looks like they're just gonna get in the way anyhow. Here's the starter. It's all covered up by a heat shield too. Probably just take all that stuff off. Just anything to make it a little more open so I can see what I'm working with better. I did not expect them to come out that easy. This side is a little rustier and I'm not gonna be so lucky. This one broke off. I'm trying to do this with one hand. And this one, actually both of these, I just ripped it through. Good enough, I ain't planning to put it back on. Drum roll, please. Well, guys, it fits. Well, now that it's in here, I'm gonna walk around and try to film all the tight spots and show you what's going on with it. First off, I'll say it's not slid back as far as I want it. It's got about three more inches to go to get it in line with those Tacoma mounts. I don't think it has quite three inches to go with the firewall, but I do want to slide it back as far as I can. But right now, it looks pretty natural sitting in there. It actually doesn't look bad at all. So even if I had to mount it right here, I could. Although, like I said before, I want to slide as far back as I can to keep the weight pushed back. I don't want the weight hanging out over the front of the truck. Here's that oil filter housing, and it's in a pretty good spot right there. I was figuring on sliding it back more, so I think if it slid back like two more inches, it would still clear my skid plate pretty nicely, and that would work pretty good. The valve covers are definitely going to clear the shock towers it actually fits i think maybe a little better as far as that goes some of the real problems that i see are right here i think this is ac i don't know i can't even tell the difference one's ac and one's heat but uh this is driver's side whatever these are but um of course if we slide it straight back that's going to be real close and i don't think this is going to go down any further maybe when we slide it back a little but i doubt it uh, so this might be kind of an issue. I might have to tweak those over a little bit Passenger side same problem. In fact, I caught the engine on this one a little bit when I was pulling it out So you can see how close that is especially if we slide this back the two or three more inches that I'd like to It's really going to be close. This is another thing the coolant lines I really don't like how these are ran so I'm thinking about maybe just replacing them with rubber lines up over the engine or something Because uh, they just run along the valve cover here hard lines and come up to here so maybe I can switch them and just run soft lines like out around here or something. We still got a gap here between the engine and the firewall. I guess you can see that. I don't know. Right now, I don't think the radiator and stuff would fit in here with the fan. So there again, though, if this slid back two or three inches, I think we'd be okay. Let's have a look underneath. Well, from under here, it's a tight fit, I tell you what. First off, we got the bottoms of the manifolds here. It's uh, pretty tight. That one's not quite touching, but of course, as you can see, I don't have two or three inches to slide back. This is where I'm going to have to mark some spots to notch maybe, or at least to beat in with a hammer. Uh, same with this side. I mean, it's close, but it's going to hit. I think I'm just going to ditch all these heat shields and stuff under here just to make a little more room so I can really get in here. I don't know if I have to cut things out or just smash them in a little bit. I'm not sure yet. This is really tight. This is actually too close for comfort. The oil pan right now is actually tied up against that diff carrier, which is not good. So I'm going to have to do something about that. I'm not sure as far as left to right goes if it's centered in here right now. Uh, but at any rate, I'm kind of out of room over here too. And I don't know if you can see what's going on. Now, like I said before, 
Uh, this truck did have a drop bracket lift, which means that this was all cut out of here for that. I welded a bracket back in here when I got rid of that lift. Uh, so that's actually kind of cool because it's going to be a little less work. Basically, the bottom of this is already notched for me. So if I do want to slide this back two or three more inches, it should clear. I might just have to flush mount these nuts. <laughs> might have to flush mount these, like set them down in and weld them. Then get shorter bolts so it's flush across here. It shouldn't be a big deal, though. Well, look who joined the party. This area right here where I welded a piece of flat metal across, I might have to actually cut this out like around here and narrow that up a little bit. I think it'll still be pretty strong. And in fact, I could add some extra metal over here or something. And right now, you can see the mount I cut off there. When I look up there and eyeball it, the engine is about three inches further forward than what I wanted it. Not sure if I can slide it back three more inches or not. I'm hoping for at least two though. I'm gonna have to go over this really good and mark what's gonna need notched. Maybe I'll decide now if I wanna just get rid of that EGR stuff. That'd probably be a good idea, although I don't think it's gonna give me a lot of room. The other thing I could do would be to get rid of these flanges. Maybe uh, put a longer pipe one that drops down a little lower and keep it tucked in close. Maybe just put a band clamp down here or something. Well, we know one thing, it does fit. It's not exactly where I want it to be just yet, but it fits. And if it fits, it gets sent. Cause I'm gonna be sending it. Seriously though, my next step is going to be to mark some spots on the firewall that need notched out. I'm gonna mark that section of frame down below that needs notched out a little bit. And we'll cut that stuff out of there, see if we can get this thing slid back into place. Well, some of you thought it couldn't be done, but there it is. Tundra V8 stuffed in the Tacoma, Cameron hiccup in. You don't have to go, dude. It's quiet on the set time. Holy crap, no. Nope. I got it, I got it. Look at this freaking huge. Oh, that's one of them killer bees or whatever. One of them killer moths. Dude, that thing has spikes and stuff. <laughs> ah!